the dream I know Deep up my feelings for you the chairman of the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC, Ola Olukayode, said that he will resign if the former Kogi state governor, Yaya Belu, is not prosecuted. He vowed that all those who obstructed the arrest of the former governor of Kogi state, Yaya Belu, would be brought to justice. All right, my people, welcome back to this wonderful channel as we bring you back to back update as it hurts. In case it's your first time of joining this wonderful channel, kindly subscribe, like, comment, share, and also turn the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our news so that now you could be the first to watch my be small matter they happen for this country this year below matter don't they carry us they go another place now the chairman of the economic and financial crime commission Ola Lukayode, said that he will resign if the former kogi state governor yaya Bello is not prosecuted he said this when he was speaking to journalists on tuesday at the efc headquarters located in jabi buja he vowed that all those who obstructed the arrest of the former governor of kogi state would be brought to justice the EFCC on April 18 declared Yabelo wanted over an alleged 80 billion financial crime. Yabelo is yet to appear in court for scheduled arraignment since he was declared wanted. So the EFC chairman Lukayodo said he made a direct phone call to Bello out of respect, urging him to appear before the commission and address the charges against him. But Yabelo declined the invitation. And now Yabelo denied that he was invited, daring the anti graft agency to produce a copy of the invitation letter. In a statement Yabelo released through his media office on Tuesday, Yabelo accused the EFC chairman of spreading lies. That was what called the EFC chairman upset. And he replied Yayabelo saying that if he did not personally oversee the completion of the investigation regarding Yayabelo, that he will tender his resignation as the chairman of the EFCC. And he have arranged two past governors who have been granted bail now, Willy Obiano and Abdul Fattah Ahmed, that he would have gone after Bello since January, but he waited for the court order. That if he can do by now, Abdul Fattah Ahmed and Chief Olu Oguloyaye his kinsmen, that why not Yayabelo? Look at it also said that the former governor Yayabelo transferred the sum of $270,000 from the government coffer to a bureau detainer before leaving office to pay in advance for his children's school fees. A sitting governor, because he knows he's going, <laughs> that was why he moved the money directly from government to build the changer. He used it to pay for the child's school fees in advance. <laughs> Just imagine. Seven hundred and twenty thousand dollars in advance, in anticipation that he was going to leave the government house in a post like Kogi. So the EFCC boss said that in a post like Kogi, Yabelo took seven hundred and twenty thousand dollars, <laughs> and Yabelo wants him to close his eyes to that under the disguise of him being used, <laughs> being used by who at this stage of life <laughs> that it will never happen. He will get to the root of this. <laughs> My people don't be small about that. Honestly, we are fully in support of this. They should deal with them one after the other. Kogi State is in a terrible condition. And that man, Yaya Bello, was busy stealing from the pocket. <laughs> I hope this year FCC boss won't fold by the time they start bribing them with 10% of the embezzled money. They should keep on with their good works. Nobody should call a bribe. We shall get to the root of this. So the EFC should deliver their job officially. It seems this Yabelo has power backing him. Because I don't see why arresting a man would be this hard. The matter of this issue has nothing to do with a personal issue. The poor guy has been the boss for some months. And he's the one that sees the magnitude of what his eyes are seeing. He's not out of context to say that considering the... The way Yabelote moved that money, <laughs> he did defraud the post-it. Let him be the one to persecute him. Even some Kogi indigent will make sure that Yabelo answered to his atrocity. <laughs> he started being bossy and was so drunk with power from day one when he assumed office till the day he left office. So at this point, Olukayode, the EFC chairman, has insisted that the anti grafts agency will do everything humanly possible to bring the immediate past governor of Kogi State, Alaji Yabelo, to account for his tenure in office. He said Yabelo was using some antis to try to invade trial after engaging in various acts of financial mismanagement. One stands as Bello <laughs> transferring money, $750,000, 
to a bureau de changer <laughs> for payment of his child's school fees abroad oh. <laughs> so the EFC chairman said that they would have arrested him as early as january this year but they waited to secure a warrant of arrest from the federal high court before going to effect his arrest last week but they were prevented from doing so by a governor and 30 armed policemen although the EFC had 50 armed operatives who would have confronted the policemen in Belo's house? But they opt to exercise caution to avoid collateral damage. The EFCC chairman have vowed that all the persons who aided and abetted Belo to escape arrest last week would be fished out and punished by law. That they have violated any law regarding Yaya Belo. Indeed, they have obeyed the judgment of the Kogi High Court, which ordered the EFCC to produce and charge Yaya Belo before the Federal High Court. And that didn't stop them from not persecuting Yaya Bello. He did so many things with Kogi State money, but he doesn't want to come to court to clear his name. And that is quite unfortunate. On the economy, Olukayo the review that the commission had recently frozen no fewer than 300 accounts of illicit financial agencies being used to undermine the Nigeria currency and destabilize the economy. Responding to question on arrest of the former aviation minister, Senator Hadi Sarika, Lukayode said that he would neither confirm nor deny the arrest, but admitted that the EFC had begun an investigation on the Ministry of Pressure and their officials. He explained that the probe being carried out by the EFC was not about Hadi Sarika alone, but about activities of the Aviation Ministry under the previous administration. So they are investigating the Ministry of Aviation and the former minister. Though it's beyond him, but it's about the national interest. So at the end of the investigation, they will release what they have found at the end of the day and they might charge some persons to court. Assistance now, Olukayode is the weapon fashion against Ayabelo. <laughs> that is the truth. We are tired of all these politicians looting our fund without being given a life sentence. So they should show one of them an example. So guys, I would like to know your thoughts. Your contributions, opinions are in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Let's keep the conversation live in our comment section. Once again, thank you all so much for staying to us. Really do appreciate on this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. But if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube page yet, please do us if you want to like and subscribe and also share. Don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified when else we drop our video because I'm sure you don't want to miss out the training and latest news happening on social media to all our amazing subscribers. Thank you all so much for staying to with us. We really do appreciate to all our viewers out there. Thank you all so much for staying to with us. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. Till I come your awareness, stay safe, guys. Bye.